Well, I started writing four years ago when I was tied up in the VA hospital uh, with nothing to do and no books I wanted to write, and that's the saga of a San Francisco apartment manager. I'm fully retired, and I write for a hobby. But, uh, it seems that my books have become popular, and I have reached another echelon. That's what I did. I just finished this trilogy, Three and Out trilogy, where my main man does three major different things every three years, jumps into something way over his head, and comes out smelling like a rose, and moves on to another adventure. The first book is um, a story about managing an apartment in downtown San Francisco. And the book is light, it's humorous, it's about different characters that live in a urban apartment complex in a very popular city. So after three years, my character moves on to San Antonio and runs into a little bit of a personal problem and ends up running a mental health hospital right off our river walk. Unbeknownst to him, a CIA agent was placed in the hospital as a fake patient because the government suspects Al-Qaeda cell forming along the river walk. And lo and behold, the next day she's found in the hospital day room with a big scissors in her chest. So this ends up being a murder mystery. After three years, an old army friend who inherited a big PI agency in downtown Chicago. And my guy becomes involved, or he gets involved with two very high profile cases in Chicago. One, a prospective Democratic governor of the state of Illinois. And the other high profile case is a Vietnamese uh, man who came to the U.S. as an eight-month-old baby in a wooden box at the fall of Saigon. So my guy is hired to do some surveillance on these two individuals. <laughs> That's the story about my trilogy.